These are my animatronic fawn ears. So they are two servo motors, computer controlled, with a computer chip the size of a postage stamp and one accelerometer, and of course it has an on-off switch and a power supply. AAA batteries are what I'm using right here. I wrote a program for the computer controller to go through this little test pattern at the beginning when it starts up. And then... You see how it reads the accelerometer, and when I tilt my head, it changes the tilt of the ears accordingly. So that's all with the program I wrote. I'll show you on this uh, web page uh, down below over here. I should have some information on the website that I got the component parts from and how I put it together. So let me show you how it all comes. It's the structure is made of 9 gauge galvanized steel wire with some fake fur added on over here. I added a little bit of foam padding uh, to quiet down the servo motors a little bit and provide a little bit more padding for me. Added on the fake fur. The horns are made out of Sculpey clay. The ears are made out of Pluffy, which is a same another clay material uh, by the makers of Sculpey, uh, but it's uh, even lighter weight. Uh, it's, so it's pretty good for these little tiny servo motors to not have too much weight uh, applied to them. So. As you can see, there's room inside for my battery pack uh, hidden behind. You might be able to see the little light uh, operating on it. And the accelerometer and everything is just soldered together inside, hidden underneath the fake fur. So, let's see. Please uh, take a look uh, down below. You should see little photographs of all the little component parts that I soldered together to make it. Hope you enjoy.